Welcome back to our channel. Today, we bring you a compelling and urgent report on the latest developments in the South China Sea. The United States Navy has deployed a significant fleet of warships near disputed islands, following the detection of China's missile sites in the region. The situation is causing ripples of concern across the globe. Tensions between the United States and China have been on the rise in the South China Sea, a strategically important region with numerous disputed islands. Recently, the U.S. intelligence community detected the construction of missile sites by China on some of these islands. These sites are believed to pose a potential threat to regional security and international shipping routes. In response to the alarming intelligence reports, the U.S. Navy took swift action and assembled a formidable fleet of warships. This deployment aims to demonstrate the U.S. commitment to regional stability and ensure the safety of its allies. The strategic movement of the fleet has drawn attention worldwide. The U.S. Navy has sent a destroyer close to a contested island in the South China Sea that Beijing has fortified with military installations to stake its territorial claims on the region. The sailing came as the Chinese military entered a third day of a show of force around Taiwan a thousand miles away near the northern entrance to the South China Sea, in response to a brief visit by Taiwan's president to the United States. On Monday, a statement from the U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet said the guided missile destroyer U.S. Amelius passed within 12 nautical miles, the internationally recognized limit of a nation's territorial waters of mischief reef in the Spratly Islands, known as the Nancha Islands in China. Mischief Reef which lies in the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, is also claimed by Vietnam and Taiwan. But Beijing has asserted its claims to the island by building it up and placing military infrastructure on it. The U.S. contends such actions are in violation of the Law of the Sea Convention. Features like Mischief Reef that are submerged at high tide in their naturally formed state are not entitled to a territorial sea. The land reclamation efforts installations, and structures built on Mischief Reef do not change this characterization under international law. The U.S. 7th Fleet Statement said, China claims almost all of the vast South China Sea as part of its territorial waters, including many distant islands and inlets in the disputed body of water, many of which, like Mischief Reef Beijing, has militarized. A spokesperson for the People's Liberation Army's Southern Theater Command said the U.S. destroyer illegally intruded into Chinese waters near Mischief Reef, which Beijing calls Meiji Reef. China has indisputable sovereignty over the South China Sea Islands and their nearby waters, Air Force Senior Colonel Tian Junli said in a statement. The U.S. destroyer's so-called Freedom of Navigation Operation, FONOP, defended the rights for vessels of any nation to operate in the area, the Seventh Fleet Statement said. U.S. warships regularly conduct such FONOPs in the South China Sea and Mondays was the second in three weeks by the Milius, which on March 23 sailed near the Paracel Islands, known as the Tisha Islands in China, in the northern part of the South China Sea. The United States will fly, sail, and operate wherever international law allows regardless of the location of excessive maritime claims and regardless of current events," the Seventh Fleet said in Monday's statement. After the March FONOP, Beijing claimed the U.S. had violated its sovereignty while undermining peace and stability in the South China Sea. Tan Kifei, spokesperson for the Chinese Defense Ministry, said. Monday's U.S. FONOP came as Chinese forces entered their third day of large-scale military exercises around the island of Taiwan. The self-governing democracy to the north of the South China Sea that China's ruling Communist Party claims as its territory, despite never having ruled it. Beijing launched the operations around Taiwan on Saturday, a day after Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen returned from a 10-day visit to Central America and the United States where she met U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Beijing had repeatedly warned against Tsai's meeting with McCarthy and had previously threatened to take strong and resolute measures if it went ahead. In addition to the operations off of Malaysia, the U.S. has stepped up its freedom of navigation operations in the South China Sea.
Bunker Hill conducted a freedom of navigation operation through the Spratly Island chain near Gavin Reef in the South China Sea on April 29. Unlawful and sweeping maritime claims in the South China Sea pose a serious threat to the freedom of the seas, including the freedoms of navigation and overflight and the right of innocent passage of all ships, reads the statement from 7th Fleet. This freedom of navigation operation upheld the rights, freedoms, and lawful uses of the sea recognized in international law by challenging the restrictions on innocent passage imposed by China, Vietnam, and Taiwan. The escalating tensions in the South China Sea have not only raised concerns about the possibility of military conflicts, but also have significant geopolitical implications. The region is home to vital trade routes and abundant natural resources, making it a critical area of interest for major powers. Any escalation could have far-reaching consequences on global trade and security. Despite the heightened tensions, diplomatic efforts are underway to de-escalate the situation and find peaceful resolutions. Open communication channels between the United States and China are essential to prevent misunderstandings and potential accidents that could lead to a larger conflict. The international community is closely watching the developments, hoping for a peaceful resolution. As the situation in the South China Sea continues to evolve, it reminds us of the delicate balance of power in our world. The actions taken by both the United States and China will undoubtedly shape the geopolitical landscape in the coming days. We will keep you updated on any further developments. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click the notification bell to stay informed about our future updates. Until next time, stay safe and take care.